So welcome students. So in this question you are asked to find the greatest value of this function x plus 1 whole power 1 by 3 minus x minus 1 whole power 1 by 3 in the interval 0 to 1. So now if, let us see whether you have any maxima or minima, local maxima or local minima of this function in this interval. To do that let us find f dash of x. f dash of x is equal to 1 by 3 into x plus 1 whole power minus 2 by 3 minus again 1 by 3 x minus 1 whole power minus 2 by 3 is equal to 0. This is 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 gets cancelled. This implies x plus 1 whole power minus 2 by 3 is equal to x minus 1 whole power minus 2 by 3. This implies if I do the reciprocal and cross multiplication so x plus 1 whole power 2 by 3 is equal to x minus 1 whole power 2 by 3. This implies x plus 1 is equal to plus r minus of x minus 1, right? Because you have a whole square, so one of them can be the positive or negative of the other. Both of them can be directly equal or equal and opposite signs can also be there. This implies x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 doesn't happen. So x plus 1 is equal to minus x x plus 1 is equal to minus of x minus 1 that is minus x plus 1. So getting cancelled this implies x is equal to 0. So at x is equal to 0 you can have a minima or maxima. And this is the only local minima or maxima for this function. And that happens at one of the boundary points. That means at all other points the function is either increasing or decreasing. So now if you want the greatest value between 0 and 1, you just need to find the boundary values, whichever is the largest is the answer because there is no local maxima between these points. So now if let us find f of 0, f of 0 is nothing but 1 power 1 by 3 minus of minus 1 power 1 by 3. That is nothing but 1 minus of minus 1 is 2. And what is f, what is f of 1? f of 1 is nothing but 2 power 1 by 3 minus of 0 that is equal to 2 power 1 by 3. So as you can very clearly see the greater value is f of 0 which is equal to 2. So that would be the greatest value of this function. Thank you.